else I hear? My granddaughter Nadine has been fascinating gems. She started just a few years ago at the age of 12. So I am making a little display for her with her business name on it, which is Tumbled Upon Faceting. So I printed it off with my laser jet, and then I used the lacquer thinner transfer technique, and sorry I missed filming that part. I am going to try out my Dremel with this plunge attachment. We'll see how that works. Because I want really small routing to be done. So we'll see. Gotta figure out how to turn it on. There it is. I'm going to tell you a little history about how Nadine got into faceting. First of all, faceting means she takes something that looks like a rock or a hard little blob and she turns it into a beautiful gem. It all started with her love for rocks. I remember rock hounding in the yard when she was about three years old. She has continued to learn about rocks and geology, and one time during a rock show where she had a display of her collection, she met someone who would teach her faceting, even though she was only 12 at the time. She took lessons and she picked up on it really quickly. And before a year's time passed, her parents helped her get her very own faceting machine. And then husband made her a work desk and her machine fits right into it. I'm still routering out the sign, so I'll continue on. So what she does is she buys rough, which looks like rocks, but she knows how to look at it through a loop to know whether she can make a gem out of it or not she can tell whether it's gem quality. Once she has it home, she sets it up on her machine or dops it. And I don't know these terms well, but she does. And then she follows a diagram with measurements and she adjusts the dial accordingly and cuts the facet with a diamond wheel. And you can tell she's loving it. Then goes through all of the steps for polishing afterwards. She has her magnifiers and she can inspect each cut she makes. Once I finished with the Dremel, then I used the trim router and it went around the edges. And then I sanded all of that and I took it outside and sprayed it with black primer. Well, rats. I sprayed this with a spray can and forgot to push record. Sorry. And since I'm not on the ball, let's go back to Nadine. Here's a video showing her process from uncut stone to faceted gem. Here it is docked. Then she grinds the stone onto the diamond wheel, making a facet. Then she examines it along the way. Here it is partway done. and the finished beautiful gem. Wow, right? In this pic, you can see the diagram in the background that she's following. But she has gone even farther than this because she has designed her own shapes. Like this right here, which is a London blue topaz. Amazing. She also did a faceting demonstration at the Lakeside Gem and Mineral Show and she did a presentation at another event. And then Noah, her little brother, and my grandson that you may remember on a few other of my videos, he is now interested in obsidian, and he has a collection of his own that is steadily growing. Now to hear about my process of making the sign is going to be pretty boring, so I'll run through it. Then I sanded all the black off of the top and I sprayed it with air. Then I went outside and I burned the wood with a little torch. And this gave it a caramely color and made it silky soft to the touch. Hey, so I'm gonna flock this and I'm gonna use contact cement. And I'm just going to put the cement, and I'm just 
in these areas. Okay. Now, to use the flocking. As, you know, when you think you've used enough, use more. Oh, it's almost filled up the hole there. So that's probably good. I was gonna do this in a box and I forgot because you can reclaim all this flocking material and use it over. So I'll make sure I use that stuff over again. Yay, I'm ready to see how it looks. See how it looks. I put a box down there so I can sprinkle all this into the box. I've only done flocking once before and it just lines the little area to make it feel like a, you know, a suede or felt finish. It's really cool stuff. Then I flipped it over and I put a verse on the back. I'm putting Isaiah 54, 12, which says, I will make your towers of sparkling rubies, your gates of shining gems, and your walls of precious stones. I also put my little house and love grandma. Then I put some Danish oil for some protection on the back. And when that was dry, I added some feet to it, but I ended up replacing these. So this is all done and I ended up switching the feet out and these are adjustable feet and you put in a little insert and it screws into the insert way better than those ones that I used before where you pounded them in and it worked so well. So I switched these out. So what I thought this could be used for is when Nadine is showing a gem or so like these two that she made for me. I have to show them off. And of course I can't remember the names of them, but put one on there. See how nice that looks? Wow, cool. And then here's the other one she made me. And I love this teardrop design. And that's my birthstone color. Wow. Let's just take a close look at those gems real quick. Wow. Incredible, huh? Look how pretty those gems are. Ooh. So I'm hoping that she can use it like that. So today is her birthday and she's turning 14. Happy birthday, Nadine. And good job on your tumbled upon fasting business and your skill at faceting. It's awesome. So if you guys haven't checked her out, she's I Love Green Rocks on Instagram and Facebook, and her business is Tumbled Upon Faceting. She has an Etsy page too. She's also been doing some really cool things with her business, like raising money for a local rabbit rescue. And then recently, one of her really good friends has leukemia, and she's been raising money by doing gem raffles. And she's raised quite a bit of money so far to help her friend and her friend's family and all of the medical bills that come with fighting leukemia. So I recommend going to Nadine's pages, I Love Green Rocks, Tumbled Upon Faceting, and check out all of the pictures and videos and all the stuff that she's doing. And happy birthday to you, Nadine. And thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
Make sure to check out Nadine's web presence as she continues to have raffles to raise money for her dear friend, who is almost 14 and has been fighting leukemia for the last couple of months. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.